Welcome and thanks for joining me. In this episode, I attempt to make the fixture for my cow's watchmaker's lathe faceplate. In the last episode, I made the clamp system and, uh, and now it's time to progress forward with the fixture that the watch plate's gonna sit on. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Earlier today, I got the handsaw out and I went through the 44 millimeter brass rod. You know what? It wasn't that bad. I usually have to do steel and this was actually like a hot knife through butter. You know, I parted as far as the parting tool would go before it's hitting the material. And then I realized I forgot to make a crucial design element in the actual fixture. And that's um, using the parting tool to create a recess between the flange and the body of the fixture. And I'll show you why in a second. So I was actually made to, meant to make a recess uh, between the flange and the body, probably up to there, just to allow uh, the clamps to slide in all the way. So if I do have the recess under there, there'll be clearance. This can slide all the way to the extremity and then get locked down. The locking force on the clamps are pretty good. I made this flange 0.15 mil uh, larger than the underside of the clamp and i think i'm just going to get closer maybe 0.1 and uh you know what it, it it fits so well under here and you know what when this is clamped in this isn't moving anywhere um even though this is at a slight angle that's going to change 
once I have the recess underneath anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. I did rebate a lot of the underside of the um, fixture just so that it can sit as flat as possible on here. Even though once I've finished the fixture, I'm going to center it on the watchmaker's lathe and then face it off here to give it a perfect flat finish with the lathe that I'm going to be using it in. So even though it wasn't a perfect fixture, I'm pretty happy with how tonight it turned out because I didn't even get to start in the workshop till about 11 p.m. and it was very easy for me to just go to sleep or um, watch some videos on YouTube, check out eBay, um, or even uh, I was tempted that when I came down here and I made, I realized my mistake that I'll just go uh, to sleep after that. But you know, I made the commitment to do these videos, to document it, and this is it. Doing this video and recording it gives, just energized me more and it's given me more momentum to probably go back after this now and edit it and upload it straight away. Overall, happy with the progress tonight. So things are looking on track to have this finished by the end, by, <laughs> by before next year. As soon as this is done, I'm going to continue making the drill fixture, which is going to speed up the process of um, locating and drilling the holes for the alignment pins and the screw holes for the main plate. I'm also going to use that on this brass fixture so I can quickly attach the, the pieces of brass to here and make my cuts. See you next time.